Hello, beautiful people. I'm Clarity Bay and welcome to my channel. I'm a psychic medium and I'm dedicated to answering the questions that are most important to you. And in this reading, I'm going to tell you what changes, what opportunities, what new beginnings, and also maybe some endings that could be taking place with a new moon eclipse, the total lunar eclipse eclipse and the total lunar eclipse it takes place every two and a half years and that makes this very exciting because it happens when the earth moves between the sun and the moon blocking the sunlight and it usually reflects the moon but the total lunar eclipse occurs every two and a half years when the sun and the moon are on exact opposite sides of the earth so this is a very exciting reading but please take one moment to click that like and subscribe button if you are not subscribed to this channel and hit that bell notification so that you do not miss an important video message. Take a moment here and just meditate on the three piles and pick the one that calmly draws you the most. This would be one, two, and three. And let's get straight into your reading. Hello, beautiful group one. And welcome to your reading. I'm Clarity Bay. I'm a psychic medium and I'm dedicated to answering the questions that are most important to you. And in this reading, I'm going to tell you what the solar eclipse will be bringing to you. The solar eclipse is a time when the moon can block out the sun's light temporarily disconnecting us from our sense of reality. And the solar eclipse could bring a bold beginning, setting us up on a new path that we hadn't imagined before. So let's get into your reading of group one. Take a moment to click that like and subscribe button and hit that bell notification so that you do not miss an important video message. Also, if you'd like to further support the channel, please click that super thanks button that is just below the video. You have to slide a little to the right to see it. It is that heart-shaped icon. But let's get into your reading, group one. You have chosen the gorgeous handbag. This is so gorgeous. This is a very refined and defined. It has the pink rose emblem and the blue stripes. This is a very interesting choice for you because the handbag represents receiving um, lots of news, information, as well as uh, physical um, aspects and energies. So let's get into your reading. Let's see what card you chose. Wow. You chose the commitment card. And with the commitment card, this is quite interesting here because the commitment card here, this card definitely uh, represents um, our ability to devote ourselves in all aspects of our being and with unwavering belief. So I can see here that straight off, there's definitely going to be a lot of faith that um, you are emitting and receiving as well. And even you will probably receive more commitment from someone that is very close to you as well. But let's get more energy. Let's find out more. Thank you, Spirit. Also, to mention group one, I will be using my astrological dice as well as other astrological tools to give you even more clarity on the energies of the solar eclipse and what it will be bringing to you. But let's get more. You have the five of cups. Okay. So this is very interesting. Very interesting energy. Let's see what else. And you also have the nine of pentacles. Okay. So 
I can see here uh, with the Five of Cups energy, this is definitely about leaving something behind that is very sorrowful. You, you, you're leaving that. That energy is leaving you. Okay, with the Five of Cups energy here, you're abandoning um, these feelings of feeling unloved because that has been a part of uh, your vibrational frequency, feeling unloved. And so you, you're ready to leave that behind. With the Nine of Pentacles, this is very good. The solar eclipse is definitely bringing more prosperity to you, more earthly goods. Um, and this is about accomplishments as well. So this is a very strong confirmation here with the commitment card that did come out. Um, coming out with the accomplishment card. This is a strong confirmation here. The Nine of Pentacles also brings more prosperity to you and a very comforting um, feeling as well. So let's get more. Thank you, Spirit. Spirit, what is the Lunar Eclipse energy bringing to group one? Yes, you have the Nine of Wands. So yes, this is even more confirmation here uh, representing this uh, five of cups energy here where you feeling like you have to leave a something and have to let go of a very sorrowful energy that you have been feeling and the nine of wands energy here clearly tells me that you are even building more boundaries maintaining your boundaries and keeping your self protected mind body and spirit as well so you're definitely very persistent so this is a strong confirmation here with the commitment card nine of wands representing your persistence on maintaining and keeping your boundaries and the commitment card here representing your commitment to yourself as well so let's get more thank you spirit and you have the Empress. This is a very good energy here. The Empress energy. This definitely um, is giving me the, the, the vivid image that there's lots of creative energy coming to you. And even some of you are, are, are literally um, will, will be like become pregnant with this uh, total moon solar eclipse energy or have found out that you're pregnant. Um, there's definitely high fertility energy here for you and also good parenting. So I can clearly see here that there's good parenting energy. Some of you are, are, are really concerned with your parenting skills and whether or not you are doing the right thing. And this is a clear indication and a message from spirit that you are a wonderful parent. So let's get more energy. Thank you, spirit. Spirit, what is coming to group one? Spirit, with the solar eclipse spirit. So you have air. Okay, so with the air energy here, so the air energy um, is very good. This is representing also, this could represent the energy of someone with a Gemini, Libra, as well as Aquarius. And But I can see that with this, this is bringing more truth to you. And you're encouraged to work with the element of air to see the truth. So what that means is air, of course, is oxygen in how we breathe. So you're encouraged to take time out to like meditate and just calmly focus on like your breath, like very calmly, very slow um, breath cycles um, in the form of like eight slow breaths in, eight slow breaths out, and do that maybe three times in the span of maybe like five minutes. And this will help you to even get even more aligned with the truth that you are seeking. So let's get more. Thank you, Spirit. 
also, I wanted to say that with the Gemini, um, Aquarius, and Libra energy, some of you could have this these placements in your sun, moon, or rising signs, as well as a person that you will be greatly affected by with this energy. Let's get more. Thank you, Spirit. You have the therapist, the queen of cups. Yes, so with the therapist energy here and the queen of cups energy, this is about nurturing, a nurturing person. So I can see here that your energy is definitely, um, you're, you're definitely emitting more nurturing energy. And this is a strong confirmation with the Empress card coming out, representing good parenting as well. So you are um, bringing to you even more nurturing energy for yourself as well as um, your children and even other people. And you have even more healing energy as well coming with that lunar eclipse. Let's get more. You have abundance and this is so wonderful for you group one yes so the abundance energy is definitely what it is it represents abundance lots of abundance coming to you in way of your finances as well as your health and abundance and energy just prosperity as well this is a strong confirmation here with the nine of pentacles coming out um, representing a uh, prosperity, abundance, comfort, and accomplishment. The abundance energy is strong confirmation for that. Thank you, Spirit. Let's get some astrological energy now. Thank you, Spirit. Spirit, what is coming to group one with the solar eclipse spirit? You have Virgo. So with the Virgo energy here, this is a strong confirmation with the commitment energy because Virgos represent that committed energy, that sort of like perfectionist energy as well because Virgos are very practical, loyal, grounded, and reliable. So this is a strong confirmation with commitment because commitment does represent someone that is being a very reliable so I could see that um, this energy is definitely radiating within you as well as you are attracting someone of this nature as well. Could be a Virgo, Sun, Moon, or Rising, or even a Venus in Virgo. But let's get more. Let's roll the astrological dice. Very, very interesting here. Very interesting because you have a cancer here that came out. And with the sign of cancer, this is about um, your emotional um, state as well as your sensitivity as well. And we talked about that with this uh, Five of Cups energy here. You wanting to leave a situation and that energy is definitely falling off of you and leaving out of your frequency as well. Here you have the planet Mercury. And what is so confirming about the planet Mercury, it is, it represents Gemini, which is an air energy. Okay. It rules a Gemini. Okay. Which is an air energy. And you have air here, the air card, very strong confirmation here with your reading. So I could definitely see that you're encouraged to take time out to relax and to breathe even slower as well. And this will help to um, bring your abundance and your prosperity and help you to accomplish your goals even more freely, even more um, easier as well. And with here, you have the planet Neptune. And Neptune, and it represents healing your intuition as well. So yes, lots of healing energy coming to you with the solar eclipse and lots of committed 
um, attention coming from yourself as well as from this other person with these air energies. Um, Gemini could be specifically Sun, Moon, or Rising, or even Venus and Gemini. So group one, this does conclude your reading. I hope this reading does inspire you and resonate with you. Please take one moment to click that like and subscribe to the channel. If you are not subscribed, this is how you can help to support my channel. If you'd like to support the channel even further, uh, please click that super thanks button. It is that heart-shaped icon just below the video to the right. I am sending you group one lots of love and good energy. Hello beautiful group two and welcome to your reading. I'm Clarity Bay. I'm a psychic medium and I'm dedicated to answering the questions that are most important to you. And in this reading, I'm going to tell you what will be coming to you with the solar eclipse, the total lunar eclipse. I will let you know what is unexpected um, that will be coming to you because the solar eclipse could bring a bold beginning, setting us up on a new path that we hadn't imagined for ourselves. So group two, please take one moment to click that like and subscribe button and hit that bell notification so that you do not miss an important video message. Also, if you'd like to further support my channel, please click that super thanks button just below the video. It is that heart shaped button just below to the right of the video. But group two, let's get into your reading. You have chosen this gorgeous, beautiful pink and gold trim jewelry box. This is so gorgeous, so gorgeous. And the jewelry box represents surprises, unexpected surprises and unexpected events. So let's get into your reading. Group two, I also will be using astrological dice and other astrological tarot tools to get even more clarity on your reading. So let's get going. You have chosen the strength card. Yes, this is very interesting. Because the frequency of strength, this supports our ability to harmonize all our qualities and skills toward a strong and balanced way of being. So this lunar eclipse is going to bring you even more strength, group two, and that is definitely needed. That is going to be in the energies of even more self-love, unconditional love, and even just greater self-respect and courage. So let's get more. Let's find out even more. Spirit, what is going to take place? What energies are coming? Spirit, you have the Empress. This is very good. Very good. Let's get more. Very good card for you. You have the Fool. I love this. Let's get more. Let's pull a couple of more cards to get even a clearer picture for you, group two. And you have justice here. Okay. Okay. So it's telling a really good story for you, group two. You have the chariot. So I can definitely see um, you moving away from something and even specifically traveling. Also, there's a new car coming into your vibrational frequency with this moon energy. But let's start back up here and let's get this energy here regarding the Empress energy that came out right after your strength card here. So the Empress energy here, this energy is about um, your creativity as well as some of you definitely could become pregnant with this new lunar eclipse cycle or even just the desire, a very strong desire to be pregnant as well. And it also represents abundance coming into your life. Um, you all definitely uh, will, it represents fertility and even good 
parenting. So some of you have been wondering if you are doing the right thing as far as parenting and spirit wants you to know that the answer is yes. You are going in the right direction and you are a good parent. Okay, so with the full energy here, I can definitely see that you are becoming even more um, free spirited here. Um, uh, this energy tells me that you are just putting yourself out there more, taking more chances, more courageous as well, stepping out, um, charting new paths. It also represents um, being more adventurous as well. So that's very good. The justice energy here, this is about a situation that you have been wondering about. Will you win? And the answer is yes, because the justice card represents a win-win situation. So this is a very good for you. Justice is being served right now, group two. So let's get more. Let's find out even more. Spirit, what is coming to group two with this solar eclipse? The total lunar eclipse. What is coming, Spirit? You have the Queen of Cups. This is a very good. Very good. So because this is a stronger confirmation, even for the Empress energy, representing creativity and fertility, the Queen of Cups, again, represents creativity as well, and it represents also your intuition. So you are gaining even more intuitive insight and knowing um, what to do before you take action. There's a higher discernment coming with this total um, lunar eclipse to you and even greater compassion. Greater compassion for someone that did um, in the past, they did you wrong in some way. I feel a connection with the Queen of Cups and the Justice card here coming back that you are gaining even greater compassion, which is a very good for you, Group 2, because that helps to raise your vibrational frequency to bring all the goodness and the prosperity and abundance in your life that is definitely yours. So let's get more. Thank you, Spirit. You have the world card. This is very, very, very good. One of the highest cards in tarot when it comes to success. Okay? And also it represents you um, receiving rewards for what you have been working so diligently on. Um, you have been very consistent. Um, so you are those rewards are coming to you. It represents completing a success, a cycle, a successful cycle. So let's get more. Let's find out even more. Thank you, Spirit. Spirit, what is coming to group two with the solar eclipse? Spirit, the solar eclipse. You have achievement. And with the achievement energy, it represents win the award, accolade, or contract. Now, this is definitely a super strong confirmation here because we just got the world card. You have the world card. It represents rewards and success. And so the achievement card, two totally different decks is saying the same thing here so this is a strong confirmation and thank you spirit for this confirmation you will win the award you will receive accolades or even a contract so that is what this beautiful lunar eclipse is bringing to you let's get more let's get some astrological energies spirit what is coming to group two spirit you have tension. You have a square, a semi-square, okay? And tension here is definitely a part of this vibrational frequency. And I feel like that this tension is definitely coming from you releasing a relationship dynamic that you have had for a while with someone, letting something go, something to do with the justice. I find it quite interesting that the tension card definitely fell right under the justice card very naturally here. So you're going to feel a bit of tension here regarding this justice situation. 
situation, but you're encouraged because you are getting this information beforehand to just relax group to relax because you already know that it is a win-win situation so let's get more thank you spirit spirit what else is coming you have a virgo virgo i love this because virgo here in your reading it, it it's the alchemist virgo is the alchemist okay and virgo is very practical, very loyal, um, grounded, and reliable, okay? And this is very good because this represents the strength that is definitely um, a part of your vibrational frequency with this lunar eclipse, okay? And um, again, uh, also Virgo has a bit of a nervous energy as well. So this is a strong confirmation with this tension energy coming out with this justice energy, feeling like this is some sort of relationship dynamic. For some of you, it could relate to a position at um, at your job, but a, with someone that you felt like you could trust. But this is definitely has something to do with trust and there was distrust in it. Okay, but definitely you you are uh, you are manifesting even more aligned energy here. More insightful energy and even just a healthier mind, body and spirit as well. Let's roll the astrological dice to get even more clarity. Okay. So yes, you have Sagittarius here, and Sagittarius, it represents the adventures here. It also represents abundance, and it represents achievement. So this is a very strong confirmation here with the Queen of Cups card coming out, representing creativity, and the World card coming out as well here, and the Empress card here that is below the Virgo card that represented abundance and creativity. That is definitely what Sagittarius represents because Sagittarius is ruled by the planet Jupiter, and Jupiter represents abundance, um, the generosity, um, positivity, and luck. And all of this is coming to you with this new lunar eclipse. And also here, uh, this is the planet Mars, okay? And Mars uh, represents um, uh, bravery, courage, and aggression as well. So those three energy, but it rules Aries. And Aries is about taking action. So there's a lot of action-oriented um, energy here with this new total, total lunar eclipse here. And also here you have the, uh, the planet Neptune which is a very beautiful and with all of the the um, mars energy of the action oriented energy the achievement energy here strong confirmations again thank you spirit with all of that energy the neptune energy the planet neptune here is offering lots of healing lots of healing uh intuition as well a higher sense of spiritual awareness and we talked about that moments ago with the Queen of Cups energy. So you have Neptune here, intuition, spiritual, spiritual awareness, Queen of Cups. Very strong confirmation here, multiple confirmations in your reading, group two. So group two, this does conclude your reading. I hope this reading does inspire you and resonate with you. Please leave a comment below because I do love reading your comments. They definitely warm my heart and make my day. Also, take one moment to click that like and subscribe button and hit that bell notification so that you do not miss an important video message. Also, if you'd like to further support my channel, click that super thanks button. That is how you can support even further. That button is located just under the video to the right. Group two, I am sending you lots of love and good energy. Hello, beautiful group three, and welcome to your reading. I'm Clarity Bay. I'm a psychic medium, and I'm dedicated to answering the questions that are most important to you. 
And in this reading, I'm going to tell you what is coming to you with the total moon eclipse. What energies are coming? What could you expect? Unexpected things do take place with the new moon. Unexpected and surprises. So let's find out. Group three, please take one moment to click that like and subscribe button and hit that bell notification so that you do not miss an important video message. This is how you can help to support my channel. Also, if you like to further support the channel, please click that super thanks button. It is that heart icon just below the video. It is to the right. So let's get into your reading group three and let's find out what changes, what surprises are coming to you with the total moon eclipse. So you have chosen the gorgeous shoe here and this shoe is so well crafted. It has the blue stripes adorned with the gorgeous pink rose and very elegant. What a great choice. This represents a charting new path and going on great adventures. So let's find out. You have integrity. This is quite interesting. This is interesting because, of course, integrity, it represents the energy that supports our choice to be consistently truthful and honest while being guided by high moral standards. So let's get even more detailed. Let's pull some more cards. Spirit, what is coming with the new moon for group three? Okay, you have the King of Swords here. And you have the Queen of Swords, which I find very interesting. Very interesting. Because the King of Swords energy here, this energy clearly tells me that there is an intentional strategic leader that is coming towards you with this new moon total eclipse energy here. Someone that carefully plans out whatever it is they do. This has something to do with a work-related energy. So with the Queen of Swords energy, this tells me that you are becoming even a more self-sufficient person. And it also represents total honesty, your total honesty here with the Queen of Swords. And so this is definitely a very strong confirmation with the integrity card here that you chose. Integrity and total honesty here with the Queen of Swords. Thank you, Spirit, for that confirmation. So let's get more energy. Group three. And you have the science card. This is intriguing, but let's get more. Let's find out what this means here. Thank you, Spirit. You have the lovers Okay, this is beautiful. Okay, I want to pull a couple more cards just to get even more clarity with you. Go three, get more. You have the Fool. And you have the Six of Wands here. Beautiful. Okay, so... Just as I thought, the science card here, this represents strategy. It represents, you know, analyzing and purposely. It, it represents analyzation, analytical thought. It represents strategic um, 
thought patterns as well. So this is a strong confirmation with this person that is coming towards you with this lunar cycle, this total eclipse cycle here. I feel like this person is definitely a part of something scientific in nature. Could be biology. Also could be, um, it could be biology. It could be medicine as well. Uh, the lover's card. This is definitely about a deep love and a partnership coming to you. It's also about um, the strength of like two people together. So if you are currently in a relationship, I feel like your relationship is definitely going to become even more stronger and more bonded. And if you are not and you're single, this is going to bring you like even more um, vibrational energy. And this person is definitely attracting themselves to you and you to them, this lover relationship. The full energy here, this is about your potential and your risk taking energy. Like there's a, an innocence. You are definitely connected with your inner child and your free spirit. And you are definitely just doing things and taking risk from your inner child perspective, which is very beautiful, group three. The six of wands energy here, this is an amazing card for you. This is fire energy, lots of creativity energy here, but specifically it represents your victory. It represents you triumphing over um, a something that you have been wanting to win at or something you have been wanting to obtain. It is a surefire um, success with the Six of Wands coming out here in your reading. But let's get more. Thank you, Spirit. Spirit, what is coming to Group 3 Spirit with the new Total Moon Eclipse Spirit? You have insight. And with this, this tells me that the insight energy coming to you is going to allow you to open your third eye to help to strengthen your intuition. And this is amazing. This is so beautiful. So definitely you're gaining a stronger intuition higher intuitive abilities, able to discern situations way before they have a chance to affect you in a negative or a positive way. So let's get more. Let's get some astrological energies. Thank you, Spirit. And you have Virgo. So this is a very good energy here. Because Virgos, uh, that's an earth energy, very strong earth energy here. Um, Virgo, some of you could be a Virgo, sun, moon, or rising, or even a Venus and Virgo. This could also represent this lover that um, you are attracting as well. Virgos, of course, are very um, practical, loyal, grounded, and reliable. And I love this energy coming out and naturally being placed to integrity here. This is a very strong confirmation in your reading. Thank you, Spirit. Let's get more. Let's find out even more. You have Venus. Yes. Thank you, Spirit, for the very strong confirmation here with the lover's energy. There's definitely a strong love of vibration attracting to you, group three. Yes, of course, Venus represents beauty, harmony, more romance coming into your life. It also is bringing you even more wealth and more more um, pleasure as well. It represents your strong magnetism that you have about you. So even bringing just beautifying, um, even, even your physical appearance as well as your total like environment as well. Venus rules the sign Taurus, which is another earth sign. 
So there's a very strong earth energy here. Yes, Venus rules Taurus. And so you could be a Taurus sun, moon, or rising, or even your person, your love interest could be a Taurus sun, moon, or rising. But let's get even more stronger clarification with the astrological dice. Okay, so here you have you have Pisces, which is representing, of course, Pisces is a water sign, but it represents um, your emotional nature. So again, this is it's, it's representing like your imagination is definitely going to be heightened. So with the lunar eclipse, you will have an even heightened imagination. Pisces could be part of your astrological placements as well, as well as your lover's astrological placements. You also have here the planet Saturn here. Saturn, the planet Saturn. And Saturn represents you have an even more discipline being more disciplined that is definitely a part of the energies that are coming to you with this um, new solar eclipse um and and you and you're more committed as well you're definitely more committed you also have here the planet neptune and, and I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. This is not Neptune. This is the planet Uranus, okay? And this is about change and individuality. So there's definitely change. Lots of change coming to you. Lots of individuality. And we talked about that moments earlier with the full card that came out in your reading, how you're stepping out more into who you are and being your total self, being total, like transparent with who you are. And so with that energy that is bringing you this love so strong and with the planet Venus here, a very strong confirmation with the love energy. So group three, this does conclude your reading. I hope this reading does resonate with you and inspire you. If it does, please leave a comment below because I do love reading your comments. They definitely warm my heart and make my day. Also, please take a moment to click that like and subscribe button and hit that bell notification so that you do not miss an important video message. If you'd like to support the channel even further, click that super thanks button just below the video. It is that heart-shaped icon. It is a little to the right of the video. Group three, I am sending you lots of love and good energy.